Hello everyone and welcome back to another Ableton Live tutorial video. My name is Don Philip and in this video we are going to be talking about using sidechain filtering in Ableton Live. Now this is a great way to get different instruments to work together within your track and get some real creative sounds. So I'm going to open up a project right now and let's see what I have. Okay, so here's my project and as you can see I already have, you know, a bunch of instruments lined up. Let's have a listen to what I have. Right, so a pretty basic track. I have a bunch of instruments put together. Uh, there's some drums, there's a bass line, some pads, and a little uh, melodic instrument as well. So what I want to do right now is I have a small issue with, you know, the instruments that I put together. Whereas, you know, I feel like my bass could be a lot more prominent, uh, could maybe work with my drums a bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the auto filter to help me do that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go to my audio effects. I'm going to find my auto filter and I'm going to drop it on my bass track. And you can see it's loaded up in my device view. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I have to use the side chain on the auto filter uh, in order to get another signal to activate it. So in this instance what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the kick drum for my drum kit in order to activate the filter on the bass, um, the bass section. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this arrow that you can see at the top left. So that's going to open up my side chain options. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on my side chain. I'm going to choose audio from my Deep Night kit, which is the drum kit that I'm using. And I'm going to make sure I choose the kick from that actual kit. Now when I play, I'm just going to solo my bass track and play. And we can see that my sidechain is now receiving a signal from uh, my drum kit. Now the next step is to uh, set up my filter, okay, to exactly, you know, the filter position uh, and the frequency that I wanted to start cutting at. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring down my frequency, and give it some resonance. All right, let's listen to that. All right. So a nice beat deep sound, which is, you know, the sound that I'm trying to go for. Now, the next thing I have to do is I have to make sure that the, uh, the side chain signal is actually affecting this filter. Now, in order to do that, I have this envelope section over here. So if I start adding on to this envelope, that means it's going to start taking that side chain signal and start acting on this filter. So watch what happens when I start adding this envelope. Right? You can see it's starting to kick in slowly. So now to make it more prominent, I can start increasing the gain of my input signal, that is, you know, the kick signal. Right? You can see that that filter is now opening up uh, every time that kick um, comes in. I'm also going to bring down my attack you know, to the lower setting uh, so that every time that kick hits, immediately the filter is opening. Right? And you can also adjust your release in order to you know, define how long that filter is going to stay open. And, you know, this is it. This is, I've got my auto filter working on my bass along with my drums. And if I play them together, this is what it sounds like. Right, a really nice funky sound. And now my drums and bass are working together and there's an interesting effect going on. And if I play it with the entire track, It's a, it, it starts adding a nice groove to, you know, what is otherwise a melodic sound. Uh, now, you don't only have to stop there. You don't only have to use the, the sidechain filter on, you know, a bass guitar. What I also like to do is use it on my strings or pads. So in this instance, I have a pad section over here. I'll just go ahead and play that. Right, a nice thick lush pad. And... Um, now, say I want this to work with my drums as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, you know, using the same technique over here. So I'm going to go ahead to my uh, audio effects, my auto filter. I'll go ahead and drag that and drop it on my pads. You can see it's loaded now onto my pad channel. I will go ahead and enable that side chain. 
I'm going to choose my drum kit again because that's where I'm getting my uh, sidechain signal from. And in this instance, instead of using my kick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my snare, right? So let me go ahead and enable that. Let's see if I'm getting a signal. Right? I can see that I'm getting a signal now from that uh, snare hit that I had before. I'm going to go ahead and adjust the filter as before. Okay. And always remember you have to enable that envelope in order to, you know, get that sound out. Increase some gain of the side chain. And let's see how that sounds. You know, so I just adjusted it so I can hear it, you know, every time. And now you can hear that that side chain is kicking in with the uh, snare. So let's see how it sounds all together. Right? So this is an interesting way to get, you know, different parts of your, um, you know, your, your project to work together. You know, different instruments to, to influence other instruments to get, you know, really nice unique sounds at the end of it so i hope there's something that you can take back from this and that you enjoyed the video uh, as always if you like the video make sure to leave a like if you loved it subscribe and hit that bell icon to receive weekly notifications from us thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one